make my Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, um, as you saw by the title, I'm just gonna be updating you guys and also answering questions that I got on my Instagram. Um, as you probably know, I do film on my phone and I'm sorry if this is a little blurry or if it's just like weird quality. I do have a crack that goes over my phone and it's stressing me out, but I'm gonna fix it. I'm also working on getting a camera, so, but I'll talk more about that and stuff like that later. But I'm going to be answering questions on my, from my iPad, because I have to use my phone, obviously. So, okay, so I have my questions ready. And basically what I'm going to be doing while I'm doing that is I'm just going to be doing my makeup. Because I do have somewhere to be later, so I thought, let's do both. So, um, I'm not really going to go over what I'm doing. I'm just going to be talking to you guys while I do it. And I'm sorry if I, like, stop talking all of a sudden. I'm really bad at like multitasking, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna scroll back and answer one of the first questions. And the first question was, what has what has school been like so far and any advice? Um, so far, kind of stressful. Um, I, I had a test, I mean, to be fair, I'm taking chemistry and that's kind of really stressing me out because I didn't realize how hard it would actually be. I mean, I was excited about it, but it still is just a lot for me. Um, but other than that, it's honestly been pretty good. I, I don't know. I really couldn't tell you. Dances are coming up. I don't know if I'll be going to any of those. Or like they had the, my school had a back to school dance. And I don't, I didn't go to that. So, but I am still debating on going to homecoming. So we'll see how that goes. I don't really know. But any advice, I would just say always be on top of your homework because even with school starting now, I'm really bad at being on top of my homework. Like I'm already struggling with it because I just, I, I have so many things I'm doing. I'm doing dance and I can get, I'm gonna get into all of that and like updates on my life later. But I just been kind of busy and I just haven't been able to I just keep forgetting about it, but I mean, I've been a little bit better this year than last year, but I'm gonna say just be on top of your homework and always make sure you like, you know, you have a plan when it comes to like what you're doing after school, like make sure you know what you're doing, make sure you have time to do your homework. Cause like, that's one thing that I always ended up getting lost on. Cause I'd come home and I'd relax and I'd just like watch my show and clean my room and do other stuff. And I'd, then I'd forget to do my homework. So I have to make sure that I fit it into my schedule cause it's, definitely a lot more needed compared to other things i really could go deeper into this but honestly i couldn't stress homework enough that is needed always needed um what else let me think i'm back okay so back with some high school advice um i would just say another thing too is that with like homecoming starting and stuff i personally have been like i really want a homecoming date somebody please ask me oh blah 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 I regret ever saying any of those things. And honestly, I'll pop, after this video, I'll probably end up saying it again. I want a date, I do. I would love to have a date to homecoming and just be able to go out and have fun. But I, you need to not worry so much about dates and boys. And I mean, if you're a boy and you're watching this, don't worry so much about girls. Um, it's nice to have some, like if you find interest in someone, go for it, honestly. You're never gonna, you're not gonna be a teenager for that long. So obviously just kind of go for, ask that girl out, ask her to homecoming, do it. Ask that boy out, do it. I am probably never gonna take my own advice because I'm stupid like that. But honestly though, I, you're, not, you're literally only gonna be a teenager for so long and you really just need to take that risk. I am really inspirational right now. My goodness. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, I don't know. Just take that risk. But also, I know this seems like very like, what are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. Take that risk, but don't worry about them. I'm just saying like, don't be sitting here saying, I need to go find myself a girl. I need to go find myself a man. Because I feel like it's just not going to help you in the long run. And I really need to stop. I like personally, I have said that before i've been like i really would love to have a boyfriend all these couples are so cute and i miss it 
and I I said that to myself but I have so many like what I want to do with my life is gonna take a lot of work and if I don't work hard at high, even in high school right now I might not achieve what I want and I just need to keep working you know to make that goal and I'll talk about what I'm like what my right now what my plan is when it comes to like college and what I want to do for with my life because I kind of do want to know what I want to do but you know things change and I'm only a sophomore so you never really know but right now at the moment this is what I'm initially going towards but I'll talk to t I'll talk more about that later let's move on to another question I did get another question about high school advice so I hope that act that helps you guys whatsoever um I was thinking about doing a video like for back to school to give some advice but i've only been in high school for like one year and this is my second year and i have learned a lot about being in high school but i don't know i feel like my advice might be more valid when i'm a junior or senior so i'll definitely do one of those next year before school starts so anyway next one next question is a favorite hobby um so if you count dancing a hobby, I love dancing. Definitely one of my favorite things to do. Like not just going to the studio and dancing at school. I dance when I'm bored at home. I make up choreography and that's really fun for me. But you definitely to know this, um, YouTube honestly is one of my favorite things to do. I love making videos and I, it's really fun for me. And I, I just, my, we'll get into that later, but maybe, I don't know. Just my biggest fear is not is like getting made fun of for my channel and i know that if you're watching this you probably do go to my school because when i'm with friends that i trust and so when i'm with my friends and like the ones that i trust i do promote my channel a lot of my best friends they do follow they do subscribe they do watch my videos which i appreciate so much because i just like thank you for supporting me because i really love making videos and it's really really sad when i can't do that anymore which I'll, which I'll get into later about why I'm having issues, but hold on. I literally can't find some of my makeup, so whatever. I guess I just won't use setting powder today. So annoyed. Anyway, moving on. So yeah, YouTube's honestly one of my favorite, my favorite hobbies. I love doing it. And I really love all of my, all of like the people from my school that actually support me. Yeah, anyway. Okay, next question. What is your favorite look to do? I'm, I'm pretty sure she means in makeup considering I... On my Instagram, I did say I was gonna be doing my makeup while I did it. I'm so sorry, I'm talking so fast. Anyway, um, I I have experimented with my makeup a lot. It just, usually when I do my makeup looks, usually my favorite ones and the ones that I actually am good at and actually turn out good are usually ones that are a little bit are pinkish and usually I do a dimmed down version for school, which I am gonna do a video where I explain that at some point when I can can do a video like that. Anyway, so I will explain my everyday makeup look, but I really love doing like bright pinky ones. I did one with my best friend a while ago and it honestly was one of the, I'm done with that, but honestly one of my favorite looks to do was that one. Cause it was just so fun and pink. So fun and pink and I really just like that. Anyway, so any, she's, also said, any plans for uh, for the future regarding makeup? Yes, I have, I don't know, I showed you kind of in my room tour video. I have this Alex store set. It's very, a lot of YouTubers have it. And I use it to store my makeup. I had it in one situation where it was like makeup, 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 makeup for like four drawers down and it was all separated perfectly. And then I changed that because I need more room. So, yeah. Okay, on to that note. I was saying that I do have my drawers full. I'm gonna fill up the drawers of makeup, obviously. And if I do need to, I can always switch it around to add drawers as I get more makeup. And I have a lot of big plans on buying some pal good palettes. Oh my goodness, I cannot speak today. I wanna buy some really good palettes and I wanna experiment with some more makeup looks. And ones that I do, like looks that I do like and that actually turn out good, I will share them with you guys. Um, 
I don't know what else to say. I do want to start experimenting more. Um, as some people may know, not a lot of people may know this, but my mom is a cosmetologist. She did go to makeup school and then she went to like cosmetology school and did further in makeup, but also a lot of hair and stuff like that. So um, it's been really nice being able to look through my mother's makeup books. And like, she has a lot of books that are just full of how to do certain makeup looks, what you need to know, all that kind of stuff when it comes to brushes all that jazz so i'm hoping to read over those and just kind of learn more when it comes to makeup even though it isn't something that i want to go into profession for it's just really fun and i really like to know about makeup so and plus i'd love to be able to make fun makeup videos for you guys so um another one for high school advice and i did answer that and if i think of anything else i'll come back to that or i'll add it in later but we'll see Okay, so another one was tips on how to stay out of drama. Um, that is a crazy, crazy subject because I, I mean, I'm never a part of drama. I'm always just on the sidelines of drama. I'm not always on the sidelines of drama, but like I, I witness drama a lot and it's really not that fun and drama is honestly kind of stressful and like, I feel like some people may think drama is like, wow like this makes school like so much more crazy and that sounds so fun but it's really not i can't really focus on what i need to focus on when there's all this crazy stuff going on and i don't know what i'm doing right now but okay anyway it's just not that fun but to stay out of it i would say just honestly toxic people and people that are always in and out of drama i don't want to say like just cut them out of your life and just leave but do just kind of push slowly push yourself away from them because I feel like that's just getting you caught up in more drama. It's happened to me before. Literally this one friend I was friends with was always, something was always going on and I just couldn't handle it and eventually we stopped talking, which honestly is probably better for me in the long run and I can't be putting myself in those types of situations. So you just have to honestly just slowly back yourself away from those people that are always in and out of drama and if people are trying to cause drama with you honestly just be mature about it be like look no and just tell them that you can't do like or not tell them you can't do it because like obviously you don't want to do the drama but honestly just push yourself out be like if you want to have the drama you have the drama but just honestly slowly push yourself out of that be like no absolutely not i honestly couldn't really say any other ways to like get yourself out of the drama or stay away from it but honestly, just push yourself away from toxic people. Basic stuff. Okay, next question. Tips on how to get better at dance. Um, so <laughs> this is a really big subject for me. I, you know, I'm a dancer. I have been dancing for 10 years. I'm 15. I'll be 16 in November. So that will be about 11, 11 years because I started dancing when I was five. So... I'm not the best dancer. Honestly, I have been, there's been times where I was slacky with my dancing and sometimes I'm like, right now I'm honestly about to be at like my peak of dancing. I've been really good, not really good lately, but like I've been really feeling like I've been progressing and getting better. Well, from this person that asked the question, she does go to school with me and we do dance classes together. And I genuinely think that being able to dance as much as you possibly can is definitely gonna help. I, cause as I said before, I think, I don't remember if I said this before, but I dance at school and I dance at my studio and that does help me progress. But considering I know this girl does not dance at a studio, dancing at school every day already is gonna help you a lot. Um, and I feel like also dancing at home, doing things that you know you've learned in class and doing them at home as well will help you progress. Like the girl who, ask me this just talking straight to you now the things we learned in class do those at home she even said do them while you're brushing your teeth i don't remember i've only done that like twice but it honestly will help and i think that you should both do it together so hit me up anyway <laughs> so yeah definitely just do things at home and always stretching but don't hurt yourself workouts but don't hurt yourself small workouts like to gain strength because I feel like don't work out to like I need to have a perfect body to do like certain things 
no that's not how it is work out to gain strength especially with like uh in ballet like you need strength to do a lot of things to be able to like hold your arms up like you know you know i mean that wasn't good you, you get what i'm saying i don't have the strength today i am weak i'm sore and i'm weak so don't listen don't don't judge this okay anyway second position you know um all of that you need a lot of strength to be able to hold it for long a long amount of times a long amount of time so practice 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 always makes perfect you're welcome okay moving on um this one says self conference i don't even know what that means i'm assuming they said self-confidence and tips on when you're feeling down okay <laughs> i really have been a hot mess lately so i don't know self-confidence is really kind of a hard thing especially i mean not especially for me like it's so much am i less harder than yours no i'm not saying that but i'm saying that just in general self-confidence is one thing that i kind of struggle with especially when it comes to like just everything <laughs> because honestly with youtube videos i feel so nervous about posting things and about people just like what their opinion is on me and i it's like kind of a mess but honestly be yourself be you and just work on not caring what other people think if they if they think if it's so let's say scenario someone is like saying that you're not cute or something i don't know i don't, I don't know if they say that you're like not cute or something just be like you know what sis i am cute and you're stupid i mean don't assault i don't assault oh my gosh tightly cut that out you know just be like you know i am actually very very cute today i think you're just jealous and move on with your life if it if it genuinely did hurt you though I get that i relate but i feel like having knowing that you all did work really hard and you did look really good that day is honestly the best thing a lot of there was one point in time like in eighth grade or whatever or maybe it was seventh i don't even remember i felt so cute that day one day i felt so cute i was like so proud of myself i was like girl you look good i went to school i was like wow this outfit is beautiful i was so proud of myself and not to like okay if these girls literally come attack me i don't whatever but i just found out that these girls were kept saying that they're like wow you look so cute but they were doing it sarcastically and that is one thing that i just i didn't know how to deal with because they were like, oh yeah, they were like making fun of you and I didn't know about it, but they were just saying that I looked good for, I don't really know exactly what their tactic was there. Um, but I felt that they were trying to befriend me, but making fun of me behind my back. And that was one thing that I just did not know how to deal with. So instead of like being all like, nah, <laughs> I don't know. I just ended up being like, you you're right i do look amazing right now thank you because my outfit was perfect and i was proud of myself and i'll just agree with them and you know what shame's on them right anyway i don't really know what i was going on about with that i just am trying to make sure that you guys understand what i'm saying are they are you kidding me are you kidding me i'm sorry i'm gonna try to be loud enough so you can hear me i don't know it's not that loud but I don't know. Okay, let's see. I, let's move. Okay, so for tips when you're feeling down and uh, moving on to that, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. I couldn't really tell you. I would say probably the best thing is to do something that you love. I love making YouTube videos and I've been honestly kind of down the past couple days. It's everything has been like spinning and I'm just like, ah. And honestly, making this video right now is making me feel so much better. And posting like an Instagram pic that I felt really cute in made me feel so much better. I got really nice compliments and just, it made me feel so much better about myself and just made me feel a little bit more like I was valid and needed in this world I live in. Even though I just wanted to stay in my bed and just like eat food 
and do absolutely nothing and watch Netflix all day. And that's really what I wanted to do, but I had to go do things like school and I had to go to dance, even though I really just wanted to lay in bed. But another thing for when you're feeling down, personally, I love doing my makeup. I feel so cute when I do my makeup, even though sometimes I overdo it. Like I was looking at this picture. I was looking at this picture earlier today or yesterday or something. But I was looking at it and I was like, girl, you wore so much makeup that day. Why? Why? That was stupid. And it was for a concert. And I was like, but it was fine. I even posted a video where I did my makeup for that concert. But nobody told me that it looked too much for a 15-year-old. What? Anyway, sorry. That was aside the point. Irrelevant. Delete that. Okay. Um, or delete the aside point. Anyway, that was really not that important. But I'm saying that I love doing my makeup and it honestly makes me feel so much better about me and just everything. Um, that's why I love doing my makeup in the morning for school, even though I may not need to do it because it's literally school and we're there to learn. But I love to do my makeup and make myself look cute. If I look cute, I feel so much better about the day and about myself and like everything and then i'm able to learn better you know because i want to learn because i'm gonna be a smart child one day one day what was i gonna do next oh I have to do. so you get what i'm saying right i hope but i honestly just do things that i love i love doing my makeup if you love doing certain things go for it do it because it might help Anyways, we're going to move on because I really don't know what else to say about that. Okay, so moving on, the last thing that happened that I got on this question thing is my grandma said hi. So, hi. <laughs> it was probably my cousin, but, um, hi. I miss you. Um as much as i've got for that okay so moving on to some things that i just really used to know about and my life and things like that and these people are mowing the back our our lawn and it's really pissing me off okay so moving on to things about me and about my life and about all that fun jazz so i started up on dance competitions or like we call it it's a company now and it's not really a what is it called what am i saying oh so it's not really a um competition like teams anymore it's a company and then they place us in certain dances which is going to be different from what i've done before with them so we'll see how that goes um but i'm really excited to be a part of a team or a company or whatever again because i really missed the whole family of it all because my team and the people i danced with were really just a big part of my life and i miss them very very much and I'm really excited to be back. Um, okay, moving on with that. Uh, I went to the state fair, to like my state fair. Um, ooh, and I got a fish. His name's Gilbert and shout out to my friend who paid for the game, which got me the fish. And his name's Gilbert. I will show you at the very end because I don't want to put the phone back into the tripod. So, I'll show you the very end. He's sitting right here. His water is kind of dirty. So, I'm going to be cleaning that later today when I get back from my thing. Not sure when I'll be home, but I'll probably just clean it later and then feed him before I leave. Because I'm a good mom and I'm so... Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, moving on with that. Um, what else was I going to talk about? What else I was gonna talk about? <sighs> okay, let's talk about why I haven't been posting. I had a video. It was a video about self care, not self care. What? It was about study tips. I had a video about study tips, and it it was ready to be uploaded. It was like all edited and ready to be uploaded, and then I couldn't upload it to my laptop where I could post it. 
so okay so i had to try to edit on my phone and it was just taking too long and i felt like it wasn't relevant anymore and that it was also kind of boring and that no one was gonna watch it so i decided that um i would just deleted all the clips and then i was gonna record this instead i decided decided that like last night because yeah but here's why like the big overall reason why i can't really post that much right now is because I, long story short, a while ago, um, I said I couldn't post because I had no storage left on my laptop. So we bought more storage, my dad bought storage and he shared it with the family. But the thing is, it only shared to my phone and not my laptop. So I need to find a way to get some gigabytes on my laptop, but I don't wanna make my dad buy me more gigabytes. So I'm thinking that, um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to just earn my own money for the gigabytes every month, or I don't know. I'm probably just gonna earn money for the gigabytes every month. And then when I get a job, I'll just pay my dad every month for the gigabytes on my laptop because I just, I feel really bad about it. So I made him buy more anyways, which I guess is helping on my phone for filming, but I really just, I really need, just need the gigabytes for my laptop so I can post. So that's where the issue is at hand. I'm hoping that I can edit all of this on my phone and then take it to my laptop and then add my intro and outro and then post it. And I'm hoping that will work. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to cry. And if it doesn't work, I'll post that it didn't work on my Instagram. So if you saw that, um, you know the sitch, kind of. You, you kind of get the sitch. I'll be right back. Okay, so as I was saying, I should probably hurry because it's almost 12 and I have to be there at 12.30 or else I don't get let in. So I need to hurry and find out where my dad is and all that freaking jazz. Anyway, basically I'm having a lot of issues and it's kind of stressing me out really, really bad. So yeah. And I also really just need a job. That's what I need, a job. Oh, and on, so what I was gonna talk, I remember what I was gonna talk to you guys about. I was gonna talk, tell you about what I want to be when I grow up, you know? Classic child things that they ask you, like what you wanna be when you grow up. And I used to say I wanted to be a chef or like a fashion designer, but clearly that has changed. Right now, at the moment, I am dancing at school and I'm dancing at my place my, uh, what's it called? My studio. And I'm dancing a lot. And I, what's it called? Sorry. Anyway, so I want to go to college for, drum roll please. I want to go to college for dance education and hopefully would like to start a studio, my own dance studio. That is something that I would love to have and be able to do. My dance teacher, my like, studio she started her studio and it's a little bit of a smaller studio which i'm so lucky to be a part of and i'm really really also hoping that i can help teach there at some point and just like help out and just be like a helper or something so then i can just get like what like the feel of it of teaching because i really would just love to teach kids to dance i it's one of my passions is dancing so I would just love to be able to do that. So that's my plan, is to do that. It's really fun. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Oh, another update is I'm having, I somehow am having a sweet 16 and it's all kind of stressing me out because I don't really know what I want or to do when it comes to my sweet 16. But I'll be 16 in November, November 12th, this year, every year. November 12th is my birthday. So mark it in your calendars, be ready to um, wish me a happy birthday, you know? I look so weird when I put on mascara. Okay, I think we're done, my makeup look. Um, So I'm gonna do my hair on camera too, just because I feel like I wanna keep talking, so. Anyway,
Okay, I just sprayed a lot. Um, dry shampoo. Mostly because my hair is so greasy and I didn't have time to shower today. So I have to shower when I get home. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I have to get ready and I think I'm just gonna wear this shirt. I'm currently putting on pants, but you can't see that, so it's fine. I'm just gonna leave my hair down, maybe throw in some clips. I don't really know. But my dad, I had to be there at 12.30 and he was like, oh, we're kind of cutting this close. And I really just am really scared because I might not get in if I'm not there at 12.30. Okay, so I'm gonna do this outro and just talk to you for a hot minute while I am getting ready. Okay, we got this on. Da, 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 da. Okay, how does that look? Um, that looks good enough. Let's add a belt. Okay, we're gonna add this belt to my look. Maybe. No, we're gonna add this belt to that one. Okay, so I'm gonna do this outro while I'm putting on this belt. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys really like this video. If you have any other questions or just something that was kind of unanswered um, that you wanna know about me, uh, DM me on Instagram. My Instagram's gonna be at underscore tylycoats underscore. And also go subscribe to my vlog channel. I will be vlogging. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to vlog my Sweet 16, but I'm probably gonna be having my sister vlog it or something of the sorts. <laughs> Um, or my mom vlog it or somebody because I want to be able to join my Sweet 16. And I'm thinking I might just give it to someone or like my cousin or somebody that knows about my channel and that is like really cool about my channel. I'll probably just give her my phone and be like, vlog this for me. Just vlog whatever you think might be important and make that be the plan. And I'm also going to definitely be vlogging my actual birthday, which, you know, is November 12th. So that's the plan. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we're gonna be doing. So yeah, my vlog channel will be linked in the description. My Instagram's linked in the description. And I hope you guys have a really good day, a good night, a good evening, or just whenever you're watching this. And I don't know. <gasps> Bye. Sound the sweet.